Hello Power News Lightning Collection fans and welcome back to Lightning Storm, the series where lightning always strikes twice as we talk about everything that has happened in the past week for the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. So not a crazy news filled week by any means, but we do have some more looks at stuff that isn't supposed to be out yet kind of technically and some other little things to talk about. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. So first up for this week, we have Hasbro Pulse shipping some stuff out and charging people for some things. Nothing too crazy here to talk about, just some like little updates to things we talked about like last weekend. Like for example, the Invisible Phantom Ranger figure, which was revealed about a week ago or so. It started shipping out very quickly. Uh, some people were already getting it like a day after the reveal, like last Saturday. Uh, a lot of people started to arrive in the past week. It's been, you know, about exactly how you'd expect with some varying successes and some varying fails. I've seen some good ones show up. I've seen some bad ones show up. Mine was kind of in between. It had all of the correct accessories, except for it having a duplicate right fist. Uh, but the figure itself had this weird molding problem. So I'm still thinking about if I'm going to send it back. I probably will. I'm not really happy about that one, but yeah, Invisible Phantom is... Uh, a figure that's, you know, it's out. You can still get it on Hasbro Pulse. It's still not up on the Walgreens website, which it technically should be based off of what we found out about it last week, but I'm not expecting that to happen until some random day, probably sometime in the summer, it'll go up for like a day. It's basically just a Pulse exclusive, and we pretty much all know that. But if you wanted to get it, I'm going to still leave a link to it in the description below, but just throw some updates about it shipping out. And speaking of Pulse, while it hasn't started shipping out for people yet, they have started charging people for the Alien Ranger 5 pack. So I talked about last week that the 5-pack moved up its date of release to June 9th. So that was this past Thursday. And exactly when Thursday hit, like, directly at midnight, people started tagging me going, they charged my account and everything like that. So it's not in stock on Hasbro Pulse. In fact, the last time I checked, it was sold out on Hasbro Pulse. And I haven't seen anybody start shipping out from them just yet. But I'm sure probably by the end of the weekend, early next week, they'll start shipping out from Pulse. And we'll start seeing how the first U.S. batch of these is being held with quality control and everything although the uk batch seemed to be pretty good i really didn't see much of any quality control problems now on amazon the set did pop back up in stock we're not in stock but like up for pre-order and stuff like that which it was down from pre-order at least last week or so i'm not sure what the status of it is at the time of this exact video i'll be checking at some point but that will also be linked in the description below the affiliate link to that which helps out the channel if you use it we still don't have a date of that until august 1st but with pulse getting it pretty much right now I would still not be surprised if this gets moved up to sometime in June. In fact, it could probably be in the next week or so that the Alien Rangers start shipping out from Amazon if you're waiting for that. Next up for this week, we have a look at the entirety of the Remaster team. Which is funny, because we were just talking about the pictures leaking out for Remastered Black like a week and a half ago or so, or at least I talked about it on last week's episode of Lightning Storm. And now we have a full look in hand of the entire team. So these are pictures that come from China, which is to be expected, because you know, a lot of times these figures show up first in Asian countries and near where they're first manufactured, which makes perfect sense to me. So we get to see the entire team here, all six of the Remastered figures. Now... It is interesting because first of all, it kind of seems like there might be a slight change with Billy's and we'll get to that, uh, but we can see all the civilian heads. If you were wondering, if you were still holding out any kind of hope for there being a Jason head with red, there is not. So that is definitely 100% not a thing that's included, which we knew that for all the accessory photos, but if anybody was still holding out a little bit of hope, unfortunately not. I think out of all these heads, the new Tommy and Kimberly ones look pretty solid. Like, I think that's definitely an improvement over the previous releases of those two heads, of those two characters, which honestly, I thought the original releases of those were honestly not too bad back in 2019 and 2020, and we've had numerous different JDF head sculpts at this point, but I know a lot of people didn't really like the original, like, version of the Kimberly head sculpt from 2019, so I think this is definitely an improvement there. I definitely think this one is better, even though I still thought that the old one was pretty solid. Of course, we've seen the Trini and Billy ones numerous different times at this point however the billy one looks like it might have some sort of like additional paint application on the lips or something like that or they kind of just changed up the paint of it a little bit and i kind of see it what people are talking about with it i am kind of trying to tell myself that that isn't the case because i don't want to have to buy remastered blue again if there's some kind of running change we do know and i've said numerous times that remastered yellow and blue are getting a restock whenever black does inevitably go up either that it's a pre-order or that's just an in-stock thing but whenever black shows up 
yellow and blue should be showing back up again at different stores as well, or at least online stores, because these are, of course, still all fan channel exclusives, so they're primarily online exclusives. But I don't know. It's kind of a weird thing. Like, let me know in the comments below. Do you think there actually is a change on the Billy head sculpt there? Or is it just kind of somebody trying to just, you know, kind of just seeing things and seeing something that isn't really there? But of course, from this photo, we get to see Remastered Black in... It's exactly what you'd expect it to be. I mean, it's not like we haven't seen this figure before officially revealed in a stream. We've also had those pictures that leaked last week. We've also had pictures that have been showing up in different places of like the whole team, like these are official press shots of them and everything like that. So it's really not that crazy to see this figure, but it is interesting to still see it here like in hand with the rest of the team. If you wanted to see like the finished actual in hand versions that were not like prototypes on a stream or press shots because it's always a better indicative you know quality of what they're going to actually be compared to what Hasbro advertises so it's always it's nice to see them all together like this. I do think that the Zack head sculpt is an improvement from the previous ones. I still don't think it looks exactly like Walter Jones. In fact I still think it's one of the weaker ones of these remastered batches. I think that the Kimberly and Tommy ones went out here in terms of the best looking ones and the Trini and Bailey ones are perfectly solid and I think Zack's is probably the worst but I still do think it's an improvement from the previous Zacks. I just don't think they can quite get Walter Jones' likeness down for whatever reason. But this is definitely a good attempt. I think the entire team looks really good. You can see all six of them here with Red wearing the shield and everything like that. No pictures of the shield being swapped around, even though we know that it can be and the bands can be swapped around as well. I really wanted to see a picture of that like on pink or something like that just to kind of get a good look at that. But uh, unfortunately, we don't have that. But the group shot here looks really nice. They're all out in China. I'm sure other places are going to start getting them here pretty soon. And I'm pretty sure we'll probably get Remastered Black either for pre-order or just an in-stock thing probably in the next like month or so. I'd be really surprised if like July ends and we don't have that either up for just order or up for pre-order. Because I think it would be really strange if we didn't by that point. So this was kind of an unexpected one, so I really didn't think we'd actually be able to talk about this particular photo or this particular prototype again, because I figured we would never find out who bought it, but that Red Omega Ranger prototype figure that was sold on eBay a couple weeks ago at the end of May, well, we actually found out who bought it, or at least we are pretty sure who bought it. So another picture of it showed up on Instagram from the account Elusive and Exclusive, which apparently is an entire account dedicated to collecting like prototypes and really, really rare Power Rangers items, so it does make a lot of sense that they were the person who was actually able to buy the Red Omega Ranger figure prototype from eBay a couple weeks ago. If there's anybody's collection that it makes sense for it to belong in, I guess it would be that one. And thanks to this account, we got to see a really nice clear shot of it here on Instagram. Now, it's still just the prototype that we saw before. There's no pictures of it like turned around or anything like that, which would be nice. Uh, but it's exactly what we saw before, just a lot clearer, which we can kind of see the helmet a lot more clear. You can see the chest a lot more clear. You can kind of see that it looks like the shoulder pads are going to be on like a hinge or something. So some people were wondering, how is that going to affect the articulation? We talked about that when we just had that one shot. And while this still doesn't like fully confirm it, because it's still just on a stationary, like standing there pose, we can kind of see how the engineering might work for it. So the articulation isn't too limited compared to, you know, what it looks like it might be. Uh, but overall, it still looks very good. I love the raised diamond effect and everything on the chest. Now that we can actually see that a lot clearer. I think the helmet is sculpted really, really nicely, really, really pretty. And I cannot wait to see a finished painted prototype of this thing or a finished painted model of this thing whenever they officially announce this four pack. I'm really, really excited for them to announce this four pack. It's one of my most anticipated releases that we have upcoming uh, for the summer here. I still think it's going to be our PulseCon exclusive for the year. That's still my personal prediction on that. Uh, and because of that, if that is the case, we'll probably see it in the next like month and a half or so, hopefully. Uh, but I just really want to see it. And this prototype picture is just really helping that case uh, of it being, I think, something that's going to be highly anticipated. All right, and then finally for this week here, we have something that is not Lightning Collection pretty much at all, uh, but that's kind of the point of me talking about it because I kind of just wanted to bookend a little listing uh, that I talked about a little while ago. And since this week wasn't like super packed with news, I wanted to go ahead and include an updated leak chart at the end of this one just because why not? We haven't done that in a little while. So first of all, I want to talk about that one listing, the PRG Woodland listing. So I had removed that from my last version of the updated leak list and it's still gone here today uh, because after some further investigating with it like a month and a half ago I originally had thought that it might be like a deluxe figure because it was priced at like that deluxe price point like that $33.99 kind of thing uh, but then the more I thought about it and the more I kind of looked into it I was like well this might actually not be 
something lightning clocked him, and I was kind of speculating. I don't remember what exactly what episode of Lightning Storm that it was, but I was sort of speculating that it might have been the Cosmic Fury Morpher. That's exactly what it is. So we got leaked photos of the Cosmic Fury Morpher last weekend. This has still not been officially announced by Hasbro at the time of this video, uh, but thanks to that, we got to see its product code number on the back, which confirms it to be the same product code number that I have for Woodland. So this is the PRG Woodland code name. So there was not a mystery deluxe figure out there that was floating around. So if anybody was keeping track of that kind of stuff and was wondering what happened to that particular listing that I thought could have been Lightning Collection at one point in time, it's not. It's the Cosmic Fury Morpher, so we can go ahead and bookend that one. And of course, because of that too as well, I want to go and show off this updated version of the leak chart, uh, because I can now remove Turbo Invisible Phantom from the It's Be Announced category. I can update that Samurai listing to kind of be a sort of, still not 100% sure if that's fake or not. Not necessarily fake, but if it's actually leading to something Samurai or not. I did a short about that like a week or so ago. You guys should check that out, because I... I think I might have been able to debunk that that might actually not be a leak for a samurai figure, but that's a whole thing for a whole other day. So I have an updated version of the leak chart that kind of shows that we're pretty much dwindling down on things that are left for them to show us that we already know about. So either that means that there's a lot that they're working on that we don't know about, or what could be slightly more realistic, they're just not working on a lot of things. Because, you know, obviously we get a lot of things that leak out and everything like that. So it's hard to say at this time, but that's what we have right now, and that's kind of what we have going into the rest of the summer. And with that, that is going to do it for this week's episode of Lightning Storm. Of course, until next time, I'd love to know your guys' thoughts about anything I talked about down in the comments below. And you can follow me on Twitter at LivingNinjaKey or LightningFigPR. And I'll see you all Lightning Storm, the series for Lightning, or we strike twice. To wrap up this video, I'd like to thank my $5 and above patrons, Jurassic Samurai, Maggot Alchemist, Robert Browning, Static Thunder, Brendan Overland, Maji Yellow, MCPC Studios, Comics1017, James Darty, John Luke, Eric Berry, Tyler Bozetsky, Matthew Thorne, Josh Landry, Pyramidus, CBT Tesla, Cross SCV, Caboose Ed, Socket Monsters, Anthony Love, Daniel Pika, Hella Geo, Thrasher, Jesus Prime, Uni Warrior Thomas, and Lewis Carnes. You can support Toku Topics for as little as $1 a month on my Patreon, linked in the description below.